I mean, we've had stars and we've had stars, but this is a star and three quarters. Ladies and gentlemen, that famous bum on legs. <laughs> the rocker with the Ray-Bans, Jason King. Duke Nukem likes this guy. Hey folks, welcome back to another video today. And while I'm talking to you, it is the worst, shittiest weather in the UK at the moment. We we're supposed to have gotten a mini tornado or a real strong gust of wind. It's just been nothing. It's lots of rain outside, so if you can hear any rain in the background, that's what that is. But the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel video, remember that gem? Yeah. <laughs> that the, what Disney and Lucasfilm just wiped off the face of the earth? Well, they thought they could, but there's a thing called the archive.org website. You type in the link and you can actually reclaim the video. And I've got my copy. I'm keeping that for a good old laugh when I need one because honestly, Lucasfilm, honestly, Disney, you've given me so many laughs in the last few days. So I cannot hold that against you. So Screen Rant, they ran an article which was published one day ago, how the video was deleted amid backlash from the fans, <laughs> the scripted video, and the cheap looking hotel. Yes, it is, yeah, I've stayed in some hotels in my time, and I uh, tell you what, they don't come across as crass and cheap as that video portrayed. So Disney shocked fans when they released the Star Wars Hotel's extremely high prices. The hotel is a two-day experience that costs uh, between $4,809 for two people up to let's just call it six grand don't put the triple nine at the end it makes no sense whatsoever for up to four guests and while the hotel has received some backlash for the pricing that backlash reached new heights should i say dizzying heights oh i know when they posted a promo video showing footage of the actual galactic star cruiser hotel uh yes yeah, so the video featured i don't know who this woman was i thought she was like um like a, a corporate head honcho from Disney, but she's actually like the head of Imager uh, or Imagineer. Sorry, why do I keep calling it Imager? Imagineer and Morrow Johnson and Goldberg, Goldberg star Sean Jimbroni. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Jimbroni, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I like Sean, by the way. I will talk about him in a minute too. The video quickly racked up numerous dislikes and comments from viewers slamming the hotel for seemingly looking cheap and for choosing a non-Star Wars star for the promo. I disagree with that last part because you could have brought in Harrison Ford. You could have brought in, yeah, a pop, you could have brought in Mark Hamill, but even they won't be able to have saved this train wreck. It, they, they, they couldn't because don't forget, actors like those, they might still have things in their contracts where they have to uh, appear for a promo of a Star Wars related product. Doesn't mean to say they like it, but they have to see some semblance of what they're actually promoting because it's their image at the end of the day that is pushing something for the good, the good, the good cause of Star Wars. Now they're calling this a Star Cruiser, but honestly, wouldn't you just be better off going on a P&O ferry cruise from here to your favorite destination in the world? And you don't have to pay up to six grand for those, do you? In fact, you pay, as far as I know, about 2,000 pounds, maybe even less. And so this is, to me, what this is, it's an ill-fated concept where you're taking a cruise liner, like P&O Ferries, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way, but you're just calling it Star Wars, the ferry cruise, whatever, you know, or just cruising if you've seen that Al Pacino film. Wah, wah, wah. This was a weird one, actually. I mean, they're right. talking yeah. about no, the existence. The oh my God, is that a crustacean? That is a piece of food and you're like, well, that's wonderful, <laughs> right? But yeah, it's really hard to kind of, now I'll tell you what, would you eat that? No, that just looks sickly. I mean, that's concept art, but if that's the finished product, I wouldn't want to eat that. No way in hell. That'll probably give you six shades of diarrhea and then some. Watch the Food Network. You know, watch my guy, Guy Fieri. Watch him or watch Jamie Oliver. They'll, you know, why don't you get one of those guys to come in and do, or Rachel Koo, get one of those people to come in and just really spice up your food. This looks like a knockoff. It looks like they've just gotten real food, sprayed it with a food paint, and it's meant to be, that's just Star Wars experience. That's horrible, actually. Oh, no thanks. There we go. This is Star Wars to me. Something from the story, right? Stormtroopers yeah. up ahead. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, I like and this. You, you ride Millennium Falcon's Mulder's run. We've Soon a Millennium up. Falcon, all right. Those that, have, those that have ridden it, no. Okay, now who's piloting the Millennium no, Falcon? Is, is it okay? 
So I wonder, is that the actual final footage? Is that what you're going to see in the pilot seat? Now, this is Sean uh, Giambroni. Now, people were kind of ripping him to shreds in that particular video. That's unfair. That It's not his fault. In fact, he's the best part of that video for me. But uh, if you want to know where he gets his boundless energy from, I mean, just take a quick look at this clip here. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, well, I think largely due to, like, well, I think largely due to the dynamics between all the family members and the guest stars and everything. Now, I think he's just a little bit nervous at these kind of events and he's just kind of, he's got a it's really quirky, really offbeat kind of energy. And so people thought he was putting it on in that in that in that uh, video, but he's not. He just this is him with that quiet, quirky energy that I like. But he seems like a likable guy. He really does. Uh, so people shouldn't rip him to shreds. Rip uh, Lucasfilm and the unseen people. Rip them apart and and Disney rip those apart. He's just because he's in the Goldbergs. I've never seen that show, but I've been told I should watch it because it is set in the 1980s. So, and of course you got uh, Wendy McCleverdon Covey who plays his mum, and she still she still looks smoking hot. Anyway, I was a fan of hers from Miami 911. So look, without further ado, guys, you know I have to do this. I've got to do it. Here we go, one more time, got to react to this. This is comedy gold and it, it deserves to live long in our memory. So here we go. Hey, Ann Morrow. Hello there. I'm super excited to see what you and your team created. We cannot wait to have you aboard because Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is a first of its kind. Interesting, artistical concept only. Okay, artist concept only. Why am I saying artistical? No such word. So yeah, so that's interesting. It is by concept only. It's meant to be selling an experience to you rather than the actual final design. Vacation experience where you get to spend two days and two nights. Hey, doesn't that guy look a little bit like Star-Lord? Am I seeing things? Yeah, looks a bit like Peter Quill. And I'm talking about not the Chris Pratt version, but the one in the uh, acclaimed video game right now. That's who that reminds me of. Spend two days and two nights living out your very own Star Wars story. Oh, I'm just too excited. We, we gotta go inside. Hey, Ann, you know who I am? I'm Sean Giabroni. Yeah, I'm the Giabroni crime family. So you better give me a part in the next Star Wars movie. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a boundless energy, he really does. Robert Zemeckis, if you're going to reboot Back to the Future, get this dude to be Marty McFly. And if it happens, you know who said it first. But it's really how funny how she's so much taller than him. Come on, guys, stop making this statement, all right? We, there are powerful women in the industry who are not six feet tall. I don't know how tall Anne Morrow is, but oh my gosh, they really are showing that height differential, aren't they? Like she's looking down at him. Oh, because men today, we get looked down upon. Terrible. Star Cruiser. Wow. <laughs> this is unreal. It's like I'm walking straight into a Star Wars movie. Except it's not a movie, right? You get to be in the middle of it all and in the middle of the action. And then there's activities you can do on <laughs> oh, Yeah, God. there are activities on board. Hang on a second. I just saw really something I didn't pick up on it before. Activities on board the ship. The first one that I'm really excited about is the action. Look at that right there, these two. Now, I'm assuming that's just someone he's with or is it just a random person that walks in saying so how are you today yeah you know where i'm going with that one right <laughs> oh look we got r2d2 just floating around and then there's activities you can do on here yeah there are activities on board the ship the first one that i'm really excited about is lightsaber training oh my gosh here on the bridge we also invite all of our guests to do bridge you don't need to training. lightsaber train people do that already you can go to comic cons they're doing it there hyperspace. Punch it. <laughs> so we've really focused on making sure we have some of the best entertainment in the galaxy on board <laughs> One of which I'm so excited about is this pop star. I gotta say, man, Giabroni's got a real thick neck, hasn't he? Like, wow, man, the guy's got some impressive genes. I wonder who the director was on this because I wondered if they're like, you know what? I don't know why I'm just directing this for, man. I'm just gonna make it the worst thing possible and release it to the public. Who is known throughout the galaxy for all... Hey, you know what, Morrow? You keep talking. I'm just gonna go in right here and enjoy myself. It kind of looks a bit X-Filish, doesn't it? You remember 
Hang on a second, let me just go back here. Yeah, look at that. Cause his arms kind of like fade out, don't they? It's kind of like an X-Files, it's like an alien. It's like a subliminal, you know, I talked about subliminal messages before. Yeah, you're kind of getting that. We are aliens, you are not alone. <laughs> How did he almost trip over when he walked in? Uh-oh. What's going on? That is the worst looking bartender I've ever seen. Something out of Monty Python. Look above and see the world slowly emerge before your eyes. Feel the sweat <laughs> as the moon begins to rise. The Jar Jar Abrams lens flare. There it is. Way. Got to get that in. Oh. Coming. Something new is in the Paying six grand, and this is what you're going to be told. Welcome to the new world. Yeah, where have I heard that concept before? Oh, yes. Yeah, thanks, Kathy Kennedy. Don't call us, we'll call you. There you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you just there, the lights were low, and this performer just came out of nowhere. You just it, met Gaia. She was I love incredible. this guy. Let's get you back to the lunchbox here real quick. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Well, look, you know what I'm going to say about that part, right? There is social distancing going on because if you look at... <laughs> Sounds great. All right. Oh, God. Take me back. Take... Look, look at the distance. Okay. I'm going to say that's about a meter, two meters apart. So, Because the camera angle does fool you into thinking they're closer than they are, but I think they're further apart than they actually are. Oh, man. I love this. I tell you what. This is... This picture, this this is going to live on in in infamy, man. In, in the in the in the best possible ways. Like I said, I like Sean Giobroni, so don't rip the guy apart. He's just his performance in this whole video is just fantastic. It is. Oh look, he's in the Goldbergs comedy, right? An acclaimed comedy. So he's definitely got his training there. The launch pod in your home planet. <laughs> Sounds great. All right. Okay, right, so you get the uh, Imperial fighters at the end coming in. That's kind of like the most Star Wars thing you're going to see there. And I would say this is kind of misleading marketing somewhat because, well, well, okay, look, you're not going to be going up in this space for real because then you won't be paying $6,000, would you? But the whole concept of, what, well, we're going to give you an idea of what space is going to be like. And re in reality, this whole hotel is actually on the ground that's it it's not gonna it ain't moving anywhere it's not going anywhere you just be going inside it's gonna be like vegas where you go from one hotel to another through those labyrinths you know what i'm talking about if you've ever been to vegas you know exactly what i am referring to oh man so it's going to be an interesting launch in 2022 of March. I wonder how that's going to go. There's a lot of, uh, it seems to be a lot of irreparable damage at the moment that that's been caused. It's their own fault. I don't think they consulted with George Lucas either about this. He's been left in the dark about it. So I'll tell you what, they brought him on board. Again, it's not like Lucas needs the money. They could have just given you some conceptual ideas, what to actually do, what will work. Don't bring singing into it. Star Wars is not about the music. It is Well, if it is about the music, it's about John Williams. It's his music, nothing else. So guys, if you enjoyed this... <laughs> If you enjoyed this little video today and the recap of that trailer, because I wanted to do, to do my own proper reaction to this rather than looking at somebody else's. And uh, oh my God, it's going to give me so much joy, that video, to watch it again and again. So, and again, Sean Giambroni, man, that guy is great. He's going to be the next Marty McFly in a, it's probably going to be what? It's, it's going to be, uh, I don't, I think... Disney might just grab, they might somehow grab hold of that Back to the Future franchise and make it their own. But Zemeckis, he won't do that. But I tell you what, they make, they remake that series again. Sorry, Tom Holland, it's going to be Jim Brony. He's going to be the new Marty Matt Fly. So, folks, if you like this video today, leave a, sm a smack a like below, leave a comment, do what you want, and I will see you on the next video. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey